happy Friday everyone. Thank you guys so much once again for tuning back in and let's get right into it. So as far as how my Friday went today, definitely got destroyed, right? No sugarcoating it at all. I was down over $100 on a day, right around $115, $120 I believe. And here's how the NASDAQ was traded on the day today. And if you guys will notice, there was definitely potential today to have made money writing TQQ, meaning you were aiming for the NASDAQ to push up or writing SQQQ up, meaning you were aiming for the NASDAQ to push down. So you could have made money in either direction, right? Because the market fell a nice little margin and was able to recover it towards the end of the day. And quickly, as far as how I did on the day, just to share with you guys, uh, as far as day trading, I was down just under $50 on SQs and, ju and I was down just under $70 on TQQQ, $62. So um, right around there, right? Obviously not a pretty day combining both of them. And our, as far as our account goes, down 165 with our swing, so not horrible. We'd be down like 30 to 40 on the day. And here are all my filled orders on the day, if any of you guys were curious to look at it. Feel free to pause um, the video to look at it on your own time, but I wanna go ahead and share with you guys kind of what faked me out today and led me to be so red. So right around here was when the market opened up at 6.30 in the morning, and if you guys will notice, we did try having a, a push to the upside but immediately we kind of validated this resistance here. It formed a little bit earlier and we started to aggressively fall. So where I went wrong today was I should have been looking at the bigger uh, time frames for the NASDAQ, right? And I should have seen that right around here was when the market opened up and when it started to get rejected, it was starting to validate a downtrending pattern now because Although the market was trying to push up, it couldn't really break above this green SMA line. It briefly did it, but it didn't want to hold and keep going, right? It just flushed down after the market had just been downtrending pretty consistently. And it has pushed up, right, the past month around there. It was pushing up a lot, very aggressively. So it wouldn't be the biggest surprise to see some type of um, pullback now, right? Some, some type of upside for SQQQ. So that's what I should have been aware of when the market started to pull down. It was starting to look like the direction was going to head down for the day. And I kept trying to get into some TQQQ plays. And like I said, you definitely could have made money on the, the TQQQ plays. But as far as me and the timing, how I went, right? The, I only traded the first hour and a half right around the market opened up. And that was basically kind of right up to this area. I didn't really get to ride the clear reversal up. And I kept trying to get into TQU today, if you'll notice. And what really did me wrong was that mindset. The market kept selling off and I kept getting into TQQQ. Let's say right around here where it's bounced before. It would start to go up and then I would average in with a heavier position only for it to keep downtrending. And it did end up having some fake outs, right? Especially right around here, it formed a nice support candle and went. But overall, and as far as the direction on the day, if you'll notice the highs that hit here, it was lower than the highs that was previously at here and it ended up flushing pretty aggressively. So that's just showing you signs that the market really didn't want to keep up trending, right? It was having strong signs of forming these lower highs and it ended up having a nice little sell off where you could have once again killed it on another little um, position on SQQQ, right? And towards the end of the day, right around here, 11 o'clock was when the market really started to shift. And you'll notice that direction started to change once the market really wanted to start using this blue line, the blue EMA line to make higher lows, right? Once it started to form lows that were higher than it previously was that before, it really just started to ride it up pretty consistently, right? And that's where you could have really made your money on TQQ, meaning you were, you were thinking the market was going to push up. So... If I show you guys TQQQ, it'll look exactly like the NASDAQ, right? And right around here was when that move um, really started to push up. And thankfully it did because if any of you were invested in tech stocks like I've been, they were able to recover after being red on the day quite a bit, right? So yeah, not the best um, as far as how today went. I Because of today, I'm ending the week red now, but nothing crazy at all. And definitely need to, what I need to work on for sure is learning when to average up at a much better time. I keep finding myself averaging up and getting caught in these red candles that just really 
those like few trades really add up to how much I'm losing on a day. So if I can learn to kind of avoid those then or and just average up at smarter times, then I can really look to kill it. But yeah, excited for how um, the future is going to look for trading. I'm going to keep going at it and excited for you guys to keep tuning back. And I really hope all of you have been doing well as well. And hopefully you've all learned something from watching this video. Thank you guys so much. Have a great weekend and we'll see you all next weekend. Take care.